Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. We are continuing Child of Light, and we just did some off-screen Oculi management. Um, now that we know that Oculi apply to every character and not just the main character, I, I don't know why we selfishly thought that it would just be the main character. I played the whole game thinking it was that way. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I could have easily done the same thing, yeah. but we, we can get that's, yeah, that sounds great. Um, we're also really tired, and that well, go. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> As I was oh, saying, we got a new monster to fight, that works. Okay, uh, have we kind that's... of fought a wolf before? Yeah, they're 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 they're, they're these are dungeon wolves. A dungeon they're wolves. Native to the dungeon. Um, anyhow, we. Uh, uh, I don't want to attack. I should I should do this. Stop yeah, you all. should. Um, we have a tendency to record this game for some reason I haven't figured out when I'm super sleepy. We did one session. When I wasn't, and that was wonderful. That was, it was very pleasing. <laughs> you need to get on a level. Which Why are you so tired? Is. Why am I so tired? Why are you so tired? And who's level? You said our level. Who's uh, on, on our level? Me and all the friends in my head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Well, you happen to know why I'm so tired, but thank yep. you for the segue. I appreciate it. We this weekend had um, three children under the age of ten staying with us, ranging from. Two years old to uh, how old was this James? Eight, um, and it was a lot of fun. It was, it was certainly a blast, but holy crap, do children wear you down? I don't know how people do parented, parented, parented. <laughs> Did I mention I'm tired? You certainly didn't get parented. Uh, oh, <laughs> um, speak some oh, English. oh, it's taunt all. I didn't mean. To, um, I don't know what happened where. Yeah, no. Uh, there, they told me an interesting story, though, of a time, I guess, you and Rachel had, had been babysitting them previously. Oh, yeah? Um, involving some sprinkles. I thought <laughs> you could share the story with the world, because it was a, I was enamored with the story. Really? Yeah, it was great. So, the eight-year-old boy, James, has a tendency to um, vomit. And every car ride that... Or, I'm sorry, every long car ride, every, like long car trip he's ever been on in his life he has vomited can you slow down the yeah, first yeah i some starlight okay. and your spider hole um in every long car trip he's ever been in he has he has vomited and somehow on a family car trip i didn't think it would be an issue to get everybody donuts in spite of knowing this like i knew he would get sick and <laughs> He was in the back with his other uncle, his uncle from Rachel's side, and um, they uh, we had been driving for like 20 minutes, I mean, no time on the road, and all of a sudden he's like, we need a bag, we need a bag, <laughs> the uncle, and, and we hand back a bag, and it was like freaking slow motion action movie sequence, he grabs the bag, pulls it open, holds it in front of the kid's face, and this sprinkle-filled barf just explodes out. <laughs> what did James tell you it uh, it looked like? Oh, man, I don't know. If he gave me a flower, all, all I can... I mean, the, the description of what it was was enough to me. Just donut sprinkles or whatever. Hey, he said were. it could have been like a milkshake or something. He said oh, something. Yeah, it didn't make any sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't remember what he was saying, but it was so ridiculous. Yeah, it just this disgusting gruel with little, you know, sprinkle jimmies. <laughs> sprinkle jimmies? Yeah, that's what they're called, right? Is that, is it's that like, what they're called? It is, they're called jimmies. I just refuse like, to accept that. Don't you remember um, uh, Teen Girl Squad on HomestarRunner.com? <laughs> <laughs> jimmies. <laughs> oh, that wolf is fast. Nick, you but are he's about dying. to be dead. I'll be fine. See? Um... It is great having the kids, though, and it's always filled with stories. We get to take them places we, like, like to go, but never take ourselves. Um, we went to Maymont this weekend, which is a big park here in the area that has, like, a, a barnyard. It's, they call it the kids, uh... Oh, it's not pet, petting zoo, but you can pet them. I can't remember what they call it, though. Anyhow, it's like the kids' entrance, and, um... We, uh went through and, and the, you know, the kids get to see a giant, like, ancient freaking pig <laughs> chomping on vegetables, and they got to pet some goats. Uh, we got to see some goats fight, which was pretty good. Um, they were play fighting, so it wasn't scary. <laughs> it was it was pretty awesome, though. You got that nice, loud, like, crack of the horns. 
Yeah, I'm, that's awesome. I'm big into sounds. Is that weird? Like, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what you mean. Like, like just like sounds are really, really guess, I- interesting to you. I, yeah, like I guess I want asthma to be something I could get into ASMR videos that are all over the internet. Um, because I love the idea of them. I just think they're weirdly like kind of creepy. The ASMR, ASMR yeah, videos. They are a bit. But when I hear a sound that I really like in you know real life, I will work to recreate it. My favorite is like crunching snow under your shoes. Oh, that's like a cool one though. Yeah, that that perfect sound. It it envelops me. Hmm. You were gonna say something just a moment ago. I was gonna say you get the sniggle giggles. The sniggle giggles. No, I don't giggle. It's just this this like comforting feeling. Oh, you the know? roller coaster ride that he just left and joined the party. I, I was getting ready to comment on story. that. What? What's his deal? He's uh, to, to, like long story short, he's like the your, your cliche warrior clan race, uh-huh. like Klingons, you know, or uh, oh, okay. Luxons or whatever. Yeah, nice. Um, and uh, he's and he was just talking about the pride and how they've they've become kind of enslaved by this evil queen to, to her service. Ooh, good thing um, over here. Oh man, I bet we have a bunch of these we haven't used. We very well might. Let's give it a try while you're continuing. Um, oh, one so far. Well, that's gonna be really all I have to say about that, to be honest. <laughs> okay, um, well, I've got a segue from there then. Okay, sure. Uh, do you think people will understand your Luxon reference? They'd better. <laughs> <Me. laughs> <laughs> or they're no friends of mine. And yeah, um, you guys are supposed to be our friends out there on, yeah, on the uh, Instant Replay Live audience. It Yeah, Luxon Race from Farscape, Farscape, my favorite show. Mm-hmm. That is that. Um, if you haven't seen Farscape, and you've like it's, it's Jim Henson, so surely you've at least seen the Muppets. <laughs> but beyond that, <laughs> wait a like, minute, what's a Muppet? <laughs> Dark Crystal the, the audience Labyrinth. member who. But I think a lot of people don't know that Farscape. Jim Henson has in a, a show for adults that was a sci-fi with big, crazy alien puppets. Well, let's say the Jim Henson production company. How I don't know how much, if at all, Henson was involved. Brian Henson was his son. Was oh, really sweet, involved, that's yeah. cool. Um, he was a big Ooh. part of the creative process for it. Rise, my warriors. Where could they be? No, all trapped in Aaron's labyrinth cell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, the brave Kadigiga. Can we get you in a freestyle rap battle somewhere in Richmond now? Yeah. Can we make that happen? I'm Your flow is Richmond. sick, brah. <laughs> We're going to Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> we um, must free them. The gates lie at the camp center. The labyrinth is magical. Be careful what you... <laughs> I was going to say, be careful what you enter, which is good advice in general. Yeah, really yeah. do be careful what you enter. Don't I mean, in so many different ways. We're talking can't. about buildings. We're talking about countries. We're talking about people. Just really be careful about what you enter. Yes, I, I would echo that advice. Um, Entering things is dangerous. Should we enter another tent over here? Get inside that fucking tent. All right. Um, well, if you say it like that, it's <laughs> surely what a curious dwelling. This guy feels like he wants to be in Flowbots. That's what I'm feeling right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you you want to mix up his rap style? A I don't. Bit? I, what are the, I don't have violins. I can't Flowbots without violins. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here I raised my younger brother. Taught him how to charge. You're, you're falling into walking again. <laughs> what? No, I definitely am not. Yes, you are. Wait until you hear our stories, princess. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> so many battles he and I fought together. If the queen hurt him, come. We must rescue them down in the Netflix. <laughs> yes, that's what he said. Of course. Oh, was there a thing in the ceiling? I don't know. Uh... Forget it. <laughs> no, no I got it, actually. It, it was, was HP oh. Stardust. Okay. Should we just go through this door? Because I'm going to be careful yeah, yeah, when I cool. enter. I just want to go enter here. This prison seems ancient. Who made it? Some say Aaron, the explorer, who hailed from distant shores. Lemuria founded by the four. Bit bit bur mm-hmm. Is that what it says? Like, Joe. <laughs> Somehow this feels like a failing on my part. Like, as an older brother, I didn't teach you how to read or something. The other thing that really bothers me about this is that you're the only one who can control the flow of the dialogue. Yeah. So I'm at the whims of you clicking ahead. Yeah. Um, and it's just this really weird disconnect. Oh, yeah, I, I can... lean away from the mic. Leaning away from the mic. Uh-huh. Um, leaning away from the mic to breathe. 
Well, to scratch my, to scratch oh, my I, scratchy just, legs. Why did I do that? What? Where did you go? Well, that was a different door, I think. Oh, that was. That was weird. It's a I... maze. Oh, yeah. There's a little puzzle, I think. Or okay. Because right. that door has like a little like half moon symbol on it. But if you look at the other doors, they have different symbols, too. Oh. I don't know what the puzzle is here. I, I really... Oh, wait. Is there a thing in the background going on? Oh, um, I, well, I saw a half moon. <laughs> Should we just need to go to the half moon door? Is that the whole puzzle? Nailed uh -oh, it. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Is this door different? This is different. Oh, go up I'm going to go back. Hold on. Go up again. Because... Oh, these doors, none of them are the thing. Yeah, I'm going back. We have to go back, Joe. We have to go back. Well, okay, back to the can entrance. we go back That's next okay. time? Oh, boy. Yeah, we sure should. <laughs> I lost track of time. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Um... Let us know what you think of Joe's accent. Was he more walkin' or more uh, flow bots, I guess? Also, is it weird that I'm really into sounds? <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf?